This is Redbeard, and in this adventure, I review the trade show at Wing Ding 42. Wait, what are you going to be in a uh, wing world for? Because we, we are. Oh, okay. Because we keep bothering the photographer to take our picture. <laughs> if you're interested in motorcycles in general, or gold wings in particular, please consider subscribing so you'll be notified when I have new content. In 2020, before the pandemic, I attended the Great American Motorcycle Show in Atlanta, Georgia. The crowd was bigger and the energy was higher at the show in Atlanta. There are two booths I'd like to highlight. Butler Mug by Mike Vine and he's at glassaxe.com. Mike was an engineer when he made the patent for his butler mug, and he, he quit his job engineer. He might have made more money staying with engineering, uh, but he said with his company, he's been able to do what he loves. He travels to shows, ride motorcycles, and it gets to help people stay hydrated. Uh, the plastic cups that come with the butler mug, he said they're designed uh, for uh, gas stop the gas stop, so they should keep your beverage cold in between that time. But with the happy accident of some metal mugs fitting in his, uh, his smaller ring, they can stay cold much longer. I'd like, also like to highlight Signalmatic. This company was started by the son and daughter of the inventor of this device, Clifford Stang Jr. Now this device uh, doesn't just add metal, it actually reads the traffic signal and if you wonder what I'm talking about it's those circles you often see on the pavement uh, by the traffic lights uh, so when you stop oftentimes that red light doesn't change for you and what this device will do you put it on your bike you hook it up to the power uh, it will read the signal and interact with that signal and actually emit some kind of radio signal to uh, simulate a, a car being there not just a, a small motorcycle and funny enough I, I only had I've only had this problem like once on my Goldwing, a number of times on my little bike, uh, but on my Goldwing Woodstock, only once, and it just happened to be the night before uh, I met these people at the trade show. They've improved on his design, and now in their spare time, they go to trade shows selling his device. I'd be remiss if I did not mention ProShine. This is the booth that hosted Chris Caliente. I did find it interesting how uh, Window Wings was there at the ProShine booth installing some, some new wings uh, for Chris Caliente. Um, but right next to them was Baker Built, and they have wings as well. They already had the lower down well, he, he made y'all come over to his bike instead of taking it over yeah, there. Yeah, he had it on display with a trailer and all, so I'll just come over and do it. Well, that's nice of him. What Chris run on to? Yeah, I keep coming by to try to find him, and he's hiding from me, so you have I to... throw down with him, so, you know, <laughs> hiding from him. Yeah, I've, I've heard you called on out on the video. Ricky Mad Dog. Mad Dog. For a way go, wing. You know about our wings? Yes, sir. The wind wings? I see he gets some more added on. <laughs> <laughs> he's here, he might as well get something done, right? <laughs> I'm curious though, are these guys mad at you? Because they're right there, right? Bakerbilt Air Wings, and y'all walked all the way over here to install it. And y'all like say something to them, like ha ha, anything? This is a bus. They give us dirty looks every once in a while, but I don't care. Okay. You need, uh, need wind wings a little bigger on your shirt so they know what you're doing over here. I had a hat earlier, but I changed it out. It was great to meet Chris Caliente. You may have seen me in uh, one of his previous videos. It was very nice of him to say he's seen some of my videos. I've spent many hours watching his in the past four years. So, how y'all doing? Redbeard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've seen you. I've seen you before, man. How you I've doing, man? I've seen you before, too. Oh, yes, sir. What's going on? I'm standing here with Redbeard. Uh, I've seen some of his videos. Hey, look at this camera he got. And I'm still walking around with the, the Hero 4. You should have got the 4. <laughs> I got the 9 now. 
I use good my three plus you, as well, good though. Good to see you. Okay, okay. Good That's a nice good setup. You. Thank you, making, you, sir. You been making a lot of videos lately? I've been trying to get back to it. Yeah. I, I paused with all the craziness of the of the COVID and what have you, but okay. Um, okay. I'm I'm trying to come back. Okay. I posted okay. a video this morning of the light show. Okay. Okay. So if you missed it, I heard it, Black Flash he won. He did. He Good. Got the spoiler. Congratulations. Yeah, he he did well. There was some competition, but okay. But not too close. Right. They had, they had more lights than he did, but anyway, it wasn't okay. it wasn't okay. a light show. It was a bunch of lights. Redbeard, where are you out of? Right now, I'm out of Nashville, Tennessee. So you're right up the road. Yes, sir. Gotcha. That's gotcha. why it's been bad. I hadn't met you yet. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what, what year your bike? A 10. 2010 going? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Get with me. Yes. Get with me. But it's good to see you, Redbeard. Good to see you as all well. Right, I was all looking right. for you today. I was okay. like, all right, I got to... I gotta meet the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> I'm here, man. <laughs> right up the road, right there in Memphis, 200 miles from Nashville. We gotta, we gotta meet and uh, and hit some uh, hot chicken or something. Man, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That yeah. sounds good. I was actually in Memphis for work uh, a couple months ago. Okay. And uh, I hit, uh, oh, I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, uh, Gus's. Hot Gus's chicken. fried chicken. Yeah. I live. That was pretty good. Live right up the road from Gus's. Memphis Mike saw that I went there, and he, he complained yeah. a little bit. But yeah. I was there for work. I was with some coworkers. Right. You just went note. in for some quick lunch. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a, a dinner. We were actually a little outside in uh, Millington. Okay. Okay. Uh, we got a we got a site there. We're putting another one actually. We do solar okay. farms. Okay. And so I'm in the Memphis area occasionally with, uh, with the solar farms. Okay. Sounds but, good. But uh, I need to get over there just to ride. Call me. Maybe ride with your group. Call me. We can do All it. All right, sir. We can do it. I'll Man, do I love it. that camera. I love that. camera. Thanks. Thanks. I love that. So we'll say there was two areas for vendors. Uh, there was the I guess the main area, which was all things motorcycles. And then the, uh, the other area, which was kind of above, uh, was upstairs a bit, and they had all kinds of other things. Now, they did have uh, the flag people, so there were things you could buy for your motorcycle, but they also had uh, Waves and Wings, which is the, uh, the cruise ship group. I don't know what it is, but that's, that's who has the cruises for the Goldwing uh, Road Rider Association. Uh, there was a booth uh, selling jewelry and glass cleaner, which is related at least because we have helmets oftentimes. Um, there was also um, the CMA was there. They had knives, they had pots and pans. The one that was a little strange to me was there was a lady selling siding and she only serviced the uh, Springfield, Missouri area. I guess that's another reason to open up the trade show to the local community might be able to get more vendors in. I look forward to the next year. I plan on uh, adding a couple of days to my trip and try out some of the trainings. I've attended trainings uh, through the GWRA in the past and they've been excellent. So I look forward to seeing how they are at Wingding. Until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.